Reina is focused on historic districts uh, and we're coming at it with a new perspective, as it were. So I'm gonna be making some forward looking statements as does everyone in exploration as with any kind of investment, everyone's gotta do their homework, right? Let's talk about Reina Silver. So we have three main assets. Uh, we've got the Gigi project, which is in the Santo Lalia district in Chihuahua. We've got the Batapilas district, which is in the southwestern portion of Chihuahua. And we also have our Medicine Springs project in Nevada. All of these come with signatures or history of being significant, high-grade, well-endowed mining districts. But through use of the exceptional team of experts that we have, we're, we're taking a different approach. We're, we're not twin-holing here. We're going in and we're saying, okay, we see an example of high-grade where did it come from? Or is there more? Or where's the source? Where's the extension of this district? And we're able to do that because the exploration team is led by, or the, the expertise, expert, exploration team is led by Dr. Peter Maga. Um, he's obviously known for being a co founder of Max Silver and also specializing in carbonate placement deposits. And both Medicine Springs and the Gigi projects are CRDs or at least indicate CRDs. We also have Doug Kerwin, who's uh, known for his Oyo Toigai uh, discovery uh, the, the, in Mongolia, as well as an exploration team down in Mexico that uh, Dr. Maga has used for, for years, and that's the team that has helped made all the rest of the discoveries. We, in part because of this, and. Jorge Ramiro Monroy, who couldn't be here today, he's the CEO and president. Uh, we've got a lot of really strong support uh, from both institutions, management's about 17% owner in the, uh, in the company. And you know, that gives us an opportunity to be really funded for success. We're an exploration company. And the goal is to put in drill holes, and see if we can take the mapping and science that we have going for us and hopefully bring success and some good results for our investors. Um, so this is a little bit of a breakdown about the different projects. Uh, Gigi represents the missing half of the Santo Elalia district. Uh, we recently completed a phase one drilling program and we recently had that uh, press release come out. For the first time, we identified a scarn zone or a, um, an intrusion of a quartz eye rhyolite uh, that's associated with a scarn zone um, that includes sulfide. So the goal for phase one was to see if we could find those intrusions. And now we're taking it out. We're, we're um, continuing with that idea with phase two. And the goal there is to target the source for this immense Santo Elalia district. At Batapilas, that's a historic native silver district. Um, we did a trenching program in 2021 that revealed high grade samples with 42,000 grams per ton silver in some sections. You know, you're, you're, you're doing trenches and you're getting these big silver samples like this. So we're in the process of doing an 8,000 8, meter drilling program and part of what has come about is we had to do an early press release with this program uh, in 2021 because we hit not only high grade silver, but for the first time in the district, we're also dealing with gold, which is an exciting new aspect. Uh, we also have our Medicine Springs project, which is in Nevada. You can think of it as sort of the third leg of the stool. This is essentially unexplored. I mean, there, there's been some work done there. There was a silver oxide project that had uh, been done in the 1980s, uh, 1990s. And you know, we recently did a Jasperoid study that revealed zoning and district scale mineralization footprint. We'll go into more about that later, but we're excited to hopefully have a 7,000 phase one uh, drilling program here in 2022 and see if we're what we're dealing with there. Uh, we have about 100 million shares, or 100 million, excuse me, 
our market cap is about 76 million uh, with the stock price of 76 uh, cents Canadian as of Friday. Um, that's easy to do because we have about 100 million shares, so that makes the math easy. We have warrants out as well, as I said earlier. Uh, we've got a lot of strong institutional support, which is a great aspect. People are believers in this company, and they think that we've got a chance for success, I believe. So we're going to start talking about Gigi, which is an incredible project, uh, in part because we're in the historic Santo Eulalia district. Santo Eulalia uh, produced half a billion ounces of silver over the course of its history uh, with an average grade of 310 grams per ton silver with 8% lead and 7% zinc. So those are the kind of numbers that you like to see in things, especially with a, such a long mine life. But we know from the science that we've done on carbonate replacement deposits that half the CRD spectrum is missing. Here's the standard CRD model. Um, you can see there that chimney manto system at the distal portion. And if you look towards the center there where it's highlighted uh, in a white circle, that's the undiscovered portion of the Santo Eulalia district, uh, which we believe is within Gigi. Um, CRDs are exciting because they're continuous, zoned, um, polymetallic, and tend to be high grade. Uh, you can see here in this schematic, we have the, the West Camp there, the, the squigglies on the left. That is actually a, the historic workings in that distal portion. And what we have at Gigi is the, uh, what we hope to be the intrusive source of the West Camp uh, and East Camp. But unlike the others where they were able to tr trace mineralization down through the um, chimney manto system, Gigi is covered by pre-mineralization volcanics. So in a lot of ways, it's a blind target, but with 40 years of ex experience in the district, plus mapping geophysics and geochem that's been done, I think we, have this, we can uh, narrow it down and hopefully find that intrusion. When, when we think about the CRD model at Gigi, you can think of it as we're looking for an octopus. The, the historic portions of the district are those tentacles, and we're working our way down towards the head of the octopus, finding that intrusion and the associated scar and mineralization. Uh, the limestone at Santo Eulalia, especially, we is almost 1,200 meters uh, in depth, and we recently also discovered scar and mineralization for the first time. The interesting factor there is that the scar mineralization is a scar of an intrusion, which is chemically uh, difficult to do, which tells us that we have pretty strong mineralizing fluids moving through this system. Uh, this drill hole actually resulted in a silver zone uh, with 523 grams per ton silver. Um, granted, that's in an overall silver zone that ranges 800 and, uh, or excuse me, 183 grams per ton silver. So that's starting to look about right. Um, and we're looking forward to what the next round of drilling will reveal at, some, at Gigi. We also have the Batapilis district. Uh, this is a historic native silver district. Uh, as you can see in that photo right there, that is a month of production uh, at Batapilis. Each one of those bars is 25 kilograms of silver. It was a truly native silver deposit they would chase these little fingerings of silver. It's like a Brillo pad and they would open up and almost, uh, they produced 300 million ounces of silver, possibly more at over 1500 grams per ton average. Um, it's a high grade zone and that was in 30 known veins. We've now taken that and we're looking for an extension of the district. Uh, we've moved off into the Northeast with the most recent drilling program and following the trenching project from earlier in 2021, 20, uh, we followed it up with drilling. We actually managed to go through the Cobrisa vein again, and we have this new aspect to Batapilis, and that is a gold component that is showing up, um, especially as we move towards the Northeast. And so we're looking forward to where that 10,000, the rest of the 10,000 meter drilling program and this gold uh, component starts taking us.
Today, I'm mostly going to talk to you guys about Medicine Springs, in part because that is one of our newer projects, a little bit less well known. Essentially, we're taking that CRD model from Santo Eulalia, where half of the system has already been mined out, and we're trying to see if we have another CRD system that hasn't had, that, that the whole thing is there, essentially. So what we've done is we did a bunch of groundwork, uh, geophys, mapping, um, and recently completed a large-scale jasperoid study looking at anomalies. And the result of this study, plus seeing the fact that we've got the carbonate rocks that we want to see, we're seeing heat source, we're in that Ely elko area, as uh, so we know that there's chances for intrusion. Um, and we're seeing great large-scale zoning. So I will show you this here. Um, so you can see on the map, we see copper, lead, zinc, silver. Some of our silver numbers on those jasperoids came back at 1,000 grams per ton silver. For those of you not familiar with jasperoids, they represent sort of the exhaust of these systems. So the, the portions of the mineralizing fluid that haven't reacted yet with the limestone um, continue on through the sequence. And so you're kind of getting a sense of what the, the gasps are that are left, and that allows you to narrow down and target the zone we're looking at. Uh, we see these fantastic northeast southwest trends. When you're out there, you see these ripping jasperoids with great um, the kind of alteration that we look for when we're seeing uh, when we're looking for a CRD. So as a result, we're seeing high level leakage from a multi-stage mineralization center at depth, and we're looking forward to the 2022 uh, drilling program that we'll take, uh, or that we will undergo there, and hopefully uh, see what comes out of that. So for catalysts, um, at Gigi, we're in the process of an 8,000 meter phase two drilling program, uh, and we're working with the geophysics that we recently did. And at Botapilis, we're in the process of a 10,000 meter phase one drilling campaign uh, with geophysics as well. And our Medicine Springs project, which is the last one, uh, we just uh, did the Jasper study and we're concatenating that with geophysics, including a LIDAR-like survey. Um, we're hoping to put that all together to have a really well thought out and strategic uh, use of that 7,000 meters of drilling that we're hoping to undertake in 2022 in the upcoming season.